Good morning. Today, will the markets celebrate or not? We will just get to know in a few minutes. Today, Infosys results could decide the direction of the market. On the higher side, 5,380 to 5,400 zone continues to be a major hurdle. Traders could build short position below levels of 5,300 with Monday's close as a stop loss. On the downside, Nifty will find support at around 5,280. A special dividend by Infosys could be a temporary boost too. The markets in the US and Europe finished flat. Asian markets are mostly trading in the red. Eurozone's emergency loan package for Greece failed to inspire the bulls. What's worse, the SEBI RDA standoff over ULIPS clouded sentiments. The good news is that status quo has been maintained on the ULIPS. The two regulators will now seek a legal verdict. We expect a flat to lower opening. The key indices are likely to remain sideways and range bound. Infosys numbers should be out before the market opens. So there is a possibility that the mood might change once the IT bellwethers results and guidance are out. Infosys is expected to post a 1-2% to quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth in quarter 4 pat and revenues. It's the company's outlook for financial year 2011 that everyone is keenly awaiting. Broadly, the undertone will be cautiously optimistic. Non-index counters may remain a buzz but don't take undue risks for now. Inflows from overseas investors have started to taper off a bit. FIIs were net buyers of only Rs 144.1 million on Monday on a provisional basis. Local funds were net sellers of Rs 1.92 billion according to figures published on the NSE website. In the FNO segment, the foreign funds were net sellers of Rs 5.06 billion. On Friday, FIIs were net buyers of Rs 2.58 billion in the cash segment as per the SEBI website. The country's industrial production was up 15.1% in February on the back of expansion in mining, manufacturing and electricity generation. The third day of Spectrum auction for 3G Telephony saw the All India license bid touching the Rs 43.2 billion at the end of 16 rounds, ensuring that the government would get a minimum of Rs 176 billion. The proposed free trade agreement between India and Israel would boost trade and economic ties. Post the free trade agreement, the trade volume is expected to triple to 12 billion US dollars. The RBI fixed the limit for issuing bonds under the market stabilization scheme to rupees 500 billion for 2010 2011. The mutual fund industry witnessed a net inflow of rupees 830 billion as against a net outflow of rupees. 283 billion in financial year 2009. NTPC may soon get to allocate up to 50% of the output from its new plants to the home state, allowing it to compete with the private developers. Moving on to the recommendations, the, de the, the derivative calls for the day are Long Idea Cellular Limited April future at Rs 67.75 for a target price of Rs 71 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs 66. And long Mercator Lines Limited April future at Rs 61.15 for a target price of Rs 63 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs 60.50. The technical calls are Amara Raja Battery, a buy. Traders are recommended to buy the stock at Rs 181 for a target price of Rs 194 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs 175. And Nagarjuna Constructions. Traders are recommended to buy the stock at current levels of Rs 180 and up to declines of Rs 178 for a stop loss of Rs 172 and a target of Rs 195. Thank you and have a great day ahead.